Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how we can quickly set up and host a Flask server all using WayScriptX. If you haven't heard of WayScriptX before, all it is is a software that allows us to quickly set up these sorts of applications. Let's jump right in. Getting started inside the WayScriptX interface, what we'll first need to do is to create a layer. This is just a pre-configured environment that we can build everything into. And once we do that, we can click on create and that will give us access inside of our layer. So as you see, as things start to connect, we already have some stuff configured into this layer that we can use. We have a file browser to the left, a terminal and a process tab. So now what we'll do is we'll create a new file. Since what we want to do is create a Flask app, we'll first make a requirements.txt and we'll put in Flask. After doing this, we'll need to create a app.py and what this will be is essentially the logic behind our Flask app. So what we'll do is I will paste in some simple boilerplate code that should get us up and going. If you just want to copy this code instead of typing it out, it's written all down below in the description. And if you're inside of WayScript, you can go, you can click here and go to docs. Within our docs, we have a quick start section on how to host a Flask server and it's here too. And this will be linked as well. So we already have our app.py, which is running our simple Flask server and our requirements, including Flask. So now what we can do is click on dot triggers. And here we have a trigger where you can deploy servers. So we'll choose that trigger of deploy, which gives us an endpoint that we can access our server on. Now we'll need a command to run. So we'll paste that in. This is in the docs as well. But all we're saying is flask run, and then we're choosing a port and a host. After that, we can hit run. And once this is ran, we should see a new process in our process tab. We'll close our trigger menu, and we now see that we have a running server using this deploy trigger. So let's go and check it out. Not much here at the moment, but as you see, we have an endpoint hosting a flask server. And that's pretty much it. I know it's a quick video, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to set up a Flask server on Wayscript X. In the coming days, we'll work more with Flask dashboards, so be sure to check those videos out if you want to. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll help you out. Until next time.